Okay, we're outside now, and uh, this is my uh, feed-through panel here. And uh, we are now going to be showing you how to use the analyzer. And uh, we are going to be testing uh, the ICOM folded dipole antenna, uh, which is the one you kind of see the wire strung in the background. The club also has one of those. Of course, there's my VHF and UHF antennas there and you might be able to see the wire running right in between them that's my G5 RV so let's go back down here you will notice that I have installed a uh, in connector to a SO239 adapter on here to to perform this test as uh, most people will uh, require to do. So with that, we will uh, connect the antenna here. Make sure you get it fully seated and screwed down good and tight. And then all you have to do is turn on your analyzer there. We'll go through diagnostic phase. And then here we are at the readout. This is the frequency uh, at which you're testing. This is the SWR, resistance, and reactance. And you rotate the tune knob to tune it through the band you can see the frequency changing there SWR is not changing much but the frequency is and We're starting to get kind of high here. We're outside of the rated range. I think the rated range frequency spectrum of this antenna is 3.5 to 30 megahertz continuous. And now we're on the 160 meter band. It's getting a little high. 1.5, 1 1.6. And you can see that the reactance changes and resistance changes as you sweep through the frequencies. So, looks like it's fairly consistent. 1.3 up to 4 megahertz. Then to increase, uh, that was the limit of the uh, of this frequency band so if I want to check it on a different frequency band I go to the next uh, switch and go this one will check from 4 megahertz to 10 megahertz at 10 it's 1.4 and sweeping back down You can see there's no reactants. Well, oh, there's some. When you have no reactants, that, that's a good thing because that means there's nothing uh, to reflect back. That's what causes high SWRs, reactants in your antenna system. Now, going to the next band, we have. We're I just changed the uh, band switch to the 10 to 27 megahertz range. And of course, your perfect load uh, would be if your RS, your resistance right there, 
uh, were to read 50 ohms and your reactants uh, would read zero. So that band looked good. Now I'll change the band switch again and we'll check it. So it's pretty far out here. It's uh, this is way beyond the uh, limits of the the specified limits of the antenna at 71 megahertz. It's only specified to 30, I believe. So, but we're still getting fairly good SWR with the antenna tuner. Uh, I don't see why you couldn't uh, use this antenna on these upper bands. Uh, we're the most we saw was two to one. So, and again, I'm d I'm adjusting the tuning knob here, increasing it or decreasing it, causing the frequency to increase or decrease. So that's just that's probably what everybody is familiar with uh, the basics of uh, checking an antenna uh, with your MFJ antenna analyzer.